Hi, today we're here with my leadership coach, James, and we're going to learn more about how he has changed my life. We met twi two years ago. Yeah, I remember meeting you and walking into your conference room. Mm -hmm. We talked a little bit about coaching and what you were looking for. And I thought you would not let me hire you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You know, you're coaching billionaires with their private jets, politicians, people with millions and millions, they don't know what to do with them. And I, and I told you I want to become a millionaire. And you're like, that's it? And after our call, I was like, if I do this, that means I might have to change so much about what I do, which made me uncomfortable. What would you say having a professional coach to help you discover about yourself, about your development, what it's taught you? Well, I always had a coach. Most people think they should do some, have some business and then hire a coach. For some reason, even in a young age, I started working at the age of 17. Somehow I always had a mentor. Then I got Mike Ferry. When I got into real estate the first year, I couldn't even afford Mike Ferry. It was $1,000 a month. Um, I used to buy noodles in cups from Food for Less and have two of them per day because my credit card wouldn't go through, but I made sure the first of every month they could charge their $1,000. And um, they were teaching how to cold call. And I, with my accent and learning English, was very difficult, but I knew that I have to have someone tell me what to do. I moved to a leadership coaching with Keller Williams, which is, I would say, where I got my most of leadership coaching. And then between that time to now, you had the big impact, which I thought I'm doing really well. I just need to hire a few more agents. I'll do a little bit better, and I'm good. And then I met you, and you really messed up my life. We're thinking bigger now, aren't we? Yeah, it's scary. One of the things you did that helped me to remind me what is my goal, and I said, I want to have a private jet, I want to have a house in Kauai, and I want to have a mark in an industry. And you said, have you ever met a broker that has what you have and has done that? I was like, no. And you said, so don't you think you need to think bigger? Well, the, the beautiful thing about doing this type of work is that when you see people and you see the repetition, you start to see what they don't see. And so when I see a person like you, it's almost like seeing a, a sapling tree, but I see it at its full extension when it's going to be a fully grown tree. And so when I see you right away, I'm like, oh, all of these things that you don't see yet. And so that's really when I say think bigger, I'm already thinking of you 10 years from now, 20 years from now, mm -hmm. because I'm looking, I mean, I see your talent and I see your potential. So I thought I was thinking bigger and everybody will say that you accomplished so much in a very short time, but I only know real estate. So I never thought bigger than real estate. And I think after you exposing to people you know, I realized that they have 24 hours, I have 24 hours. You're coaching the people with the same body type, different stories, but they have the same hours a day. I just have to change what I do. So that's very scary. But I'd rather be scared and have an exciting life than have a boring, safe, and dream about things. I'd rather mm -hmm. get to my dream. Yeah, we have to change the mindset, mm -hmm. right? You can't do it unless you can dream it. It's becoming, becoming the fully extended version of you, your full mm -hmm. potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, thing, the material things that you accumulate, they're just symbols. Mm -hmm. They don't really have any meaning in, them, in themselves. I see people will say, don't you want to change your car? I honestly used to care. I don't, I'm not going to deny that. 15 years ago, I couldn't wait for find a reason to return the lease and find something new, a new color. I have no desire, I'm, I'll, I guess it's called growing up. So I grew up, I don't care about the car. I do care about quality of my life and the time I spend with whoever I'm spending, the food I'm eating, my vacations. But more importantly, I feel like it would be nice to own a business worth owning and not stress over it versus 
running all day to build the business. And that's where I think I have changed my mindset.